Looks like they saved the big code for last. How's that be? Holy shit. They gave it a shield! It, it, it goes down pretty quickly though, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Take out the main body! And the rest will crumble! I technically don't actually have to kill all these things. Oh my fuck, what the hell are those? <laughs> the pink orbs! They're on the tanks! At least the pink orbs don't shoot at me. <laughs> it's just the things that they're riding on. Gun. I have control. Success! I've got total access. Wait, the, the code's unstable. Everything's speeding up. Uh oh. Um, is that gonna hit us? Oh, we broke a dam. Uh, oops. Well, you know, that's not as bad as I thought Wind that was going to be. throwing stars, eh? This little system bug might come in handy. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, we're just going to throw windmill blades at everybody. Interesting plan, Bentley. Put on your helmets, cause it's time for Operation Turbo Dominant Eagle. <laughs> They're just a few hours. Team Ice. That's such a ridiculous Delta name. We'll begin fighting it out in the B Champs round. This will provide the perfect cover for step one of my plan. Sly, use the catapult and your paraglider to get access to the local gunships. Land some tracking devices, then head back to the team hangar and suit up for the finals. Murray, you're up next. Use your rowboat to pull down the aircraft communication antenna. With it out of commission, the Baron will have to use an unscrambled radio frequency to call in the gunships for backup. If that happens, I'll be ready with our secret weapon. And with the tracking devices installed, I'm guaranteed not to miss. In the end, though, it'll be up to slide. This is a sudden death competition. The first team to take out last year's champ wins. That's if the Black Baron doesn't take out all the competition first. I'm ready for a dog battle with the Baron, okay? He'll never take me down. I'm too skilled for this. Okay, what kind of gadgets do we have available? Now that I'm loaded in money. Hey, look, we could have had the health extractor. That would have been helpful in the wolf mission. Grapple cam, a remote camera with amazing abilities. That sounds actually pretty cool. What about other things? Silent obliteration, juggle an anywhere enemy with uh, triangle. I'm assuming that that will be an easy one. Move without being seen, shadow power. Whoa. And then there's the rocket boots I wanted. Everything's really cool sounding. I'm gonna get silent obliteration. And grapple cam. And then the next thing I'm gonna be saving up for, I guess, is shadow power. Operation Turbo Dominant Eagle. Alright, let me make sure to equip my abilities first. Let's put you on L1, because I don't really need a, a disguise at this time. Zoom through the world with these speedy boots. Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. Bam! Now I just sneak by. Oh my god! Can I sneak up on people with this? I don't know if uh, that was a good example. He might have been turning around for his patrol pattern. Uh, 
All right, buddy. Are you going left or are you going right? Oh, he's going. He's going to his left. Yeah, I don't think it makes. Uh... Ow! Holy shit! That was brutal. He... I don't even. I don't even know what to say. I'm just so caught off guard by that. He pitchforked me. Oh my god, he's destroying me. Yeah, okay. Well, I probably won't be too aggressive with how I use my speedy boots. But it's good to know that I've got them. And that I can boost myself behind somebody. If I really wanted to. Although I still need more tests to fully discover if I can in fact sneak up on a guy, but I can always just stop myself short. The fact that generally you can get pretty much right behind them without them freaking out though probably is a good sign because boy they can react real fast to you running. So uh, I just have to make assumptions at that point. Ugh. You know what I realize? I probably could have just gone up the catapult. Oh my god, I got it. spawned all the way up here. <laughs> I deserve that. But hey, you know what? I get money now. That was my master plan. If you use how many enemies are across the patrol pattern in order to get more and more money. <laughs> All right, blimp. I need you to not rat me out here. Cause I'm howdy. See, now this is a fun gadget. Changes entirely what you're up to. And what you're capable of. Speed is amazing. Especially in a stealth game when sometimes you just have to go super damn slow. Alright, can I just launch myself up with this? Yeah, I didn't have to go through all of that beforehand. <laughs> okay. Excellent! The B-Champs dogfight is beginning! With these guys going at it, no one will notice as you slip onto the gunships and plant a tracking device. Sounds straightforward enough. Where'd you get these trackers? They look kind of funny. Best I could do on short notice. They're sensitive to extreme changes in altitude. You'll have to pull this job off at high elevation or it's a bust. Shouldn't be a problem. Alright, launch myself in the air and glide around. You got it. Yeah, maybe I'll go back. Maybe I'll go back. They're, they were a little bit far away from me. Still, still a little far. Patience is what I need here. And once I've lined it up... I don't even need to glide to get on it. Excellent. The first tracker's in place. If I'm not mistaken, there should be a pressure vent near the front of the aircraft. It might be just the thing to give you a lift. And the question is, should I be going for the one on the right first? Eh, we'll go for this one. By the time I'm done with this one, I should be able to make my way to the other side. To the next blimp right over here well behind done. us. Two down. At least I hope so. It looks like we'll be fine. Drop, drop, drop! Alright, now be honest. I don't actually know if the one right in front of us is the one I need to go for, but I'm hoping it will be. Get a little bit closer, so that way we don't miss. There. I'm glad no one is noticing me hop on through here. Someone could have just tried to uh, go up in the air. Damn it, it did end up being one I've already done. That's. <laughs> that's a shame. What about this? Oh my god. 
You know what? There we go. <laughs> I will just... I should have used that beforehand, but I was just hoping that maybe they were going in a different pattern. I thought this one was... I thought they were all swapping around in one big circle, but no. They, they were just the same ones over and over again. Which should be obvious. It is obvious. I just thought maybe things were a little bit more clever. See, look at this. The last time I was over in this position, I jumped out of blimp and it ended up not being the right one, so I'm very confused. It feels like they actually all kind of swap around eventually. Doesn't matter. Mission complete. Nice work, my boy. The gunship's GPS data is flowing in. Head back to the hangar and suit up. Time to take to the skies. The Black Baron's communication antenna is held up by three support beams. Pull them out of place, and the whole array will fall apart. Don't worry. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's rowing and breaking stuff. <laughs> Destruction is important. Oh, jeez. Right, so how am I going to do this? Row away from the windmill to break its support beam. Oh, jeez. I don't know where they want me to go. Just press square. Just press square. You know what? We're, I don't need to turn around. I just need to keep going this way. Oh, my God. This is scary. This is a war, man. Keep it up. The falling planes are dangerous, but they're perfect cover for this operation. Yes, you see, they could attribute the <laughs> the windmill falling down to all of the carnage going on here. Oh boy. So far, so good. I have not been hit by a dangerous set of debris. I'm keeping an eye out for the shadows. This is the only way I know I'm about to get hit. Yeah. I got hurt, but it wasn't that bad. Antennas could never stop us, Murray! <laughs> Sly's just casually gliding down still. There was plenty of time for him to have gotten there way earlier, but whatever. Cutscenes. This is it! I am the tiger, pal! Look for the Black Baron! Take him out and this competition is all over! And go easy on the throttle! It's been sticking lately! Quit worrying. I'll see you in the winner circle. All right, let's go shoot the Baron. And if he tries to get behind me, we'll just do some aerial dodges, aerial maneuvers. I don't know what the Baron's saying. Oh shit, I fucking ran straight into another blade. But I've already taken out half his health, so, uh... He's not having a good time. I set my targets on him immediately. And it's not working out for him. I mean, this is a pretty cool plan for him to uh, dock with this other plane. Oh, we're taking him out. Oh, we're fighting on the plane's wing. That's pretty cool. Am I? I beat you. Your biplane is in pieces. But <laughs> we're both still airborne, aren't we? The victor has yet to be decided. Then let's settle it. Beware, 
there, my boy. I've trained ten years at Fisticuffs. Pugilism is my passion. <laughs> I love this guy. Fly, this shouldn't take long. On guard! Fisticuffs, you say? <laughs> I can fight just as well. I've taken out more... Oh, okay, okay. I've taken out more dangerous villains than you. <laughs> Ow! Okay, that, that hurt a little bit. I just have to move out of the way sometimes. Hold on. Spin attack! I don't feel like I'm doing too much damage, but I guess this is a battle of attrition. We just have to stay in here for as long as possible. Fight! Defend your leader! Hold on, y'all. I don't think so. <laughs> your, your leader's trying to fall off the edge. Don't you think that he should live his high life? Can I finish him off here? Dang it, I can't. Ah! Not the fire! Oh my god, you're kidding me. Victory, I have won again. <sighs> On what a cheer! He's a bastard boxer. He's not a fucking- I got taken out by fire! I'm not worried about his fisticuffs. Fine. We'll play it safer next time. Gotta watch out for getting burned. I underestimated the pigs and what they could do. Oh my god, I'm just hitting so many random small hits. Yeah, look at that. He just like jabs me in the nose. It's like, blah, tiny little slap. But his big hits, I'm avoiding quite a bit. Your patron is in distress. All right, I'm camping the door. Now that I know I don't need to do anything else, just can the door, never have to worry about anything. <laughs> this is easy peasy. Ah, bring it on, Baron. <laughs> I don't have a dodge, but I don't need a dodge. I'll just predict your maneuvers. Oh, okay, I couldn't have predicted that, but fine. Now I know about- come on! You know what, at least- at least they're gracious. They- they don't just instant fail me as soon as I fall off the edge. Jumping is a bad idea here. You know, at least these guys don't come out while I'm in the middle of the fight. That- that would be rough. Yes, continue to dodge and not actually attack me. It increases my survival. Oh shit, they're actually... Oh, oh, Jesus. That one hurt. That one hurt. He is a heavyweight contender. They did say he was a good boxer. Oh, well, that guy just died. Ugh, I ended up jinxing myself by now having to deal with these pigs. But we should be taking out the Baron in a couple of hits anyways. What the heck? Penelope? That's enough. You win, Cooper. What? You? You're Penelope, the Baron's mechanic. No. No, you are the Black Baron. Suppose someone was bound to find out sooner or later. What? I'm kind of relieved. But why? Look, let's talk on the ground where it's safe. Ah. Uh... I don't know how to feel about this. The whole idea is that we, we, we beat up the bad guys. And then we get the good guys for our team. But the good guys are the bad guys and oh boy. It was quite a revelation. Penelope and the Black Baron were one and the same. But before we could even process this turn of events, we were rushed to the winner's circle. Somehow, against all odds, we become this year's champions. There was a bit of an awkward moment between Bentley and Penelope. I guess the photos they'd sent each other over the internet were a bit... exaggerated. Ha! I thought they knew! That night, Penelope explained that the disguise was invented to get her past the dogfighting league's strict age requirements. 
However, after winning, the Baron became a celebrity, and she found herself putting on the costume more and more often. But now, with the Black Baron out of the picture, she was free to take up a new path, and she joined the gang without hesitation. The next day, our newest recruit treated us to a week-long aerial tour of Holland. Wait, were we in the she plane for a week? Just fine. Cause that would suck. <laughs> that would really, really suck. But okay, now we got Penelope, who can do all the RC things. Fun! Even though Bentley was doing all the RC things in the past anyways, but you know, whatever. That catches me off guard! Because I legitimately wasn't really think- there wasn't really anything to hint that she was the Black Baron, so it was never even on my mind that it would be a twist there. But I guess it should have been because, yeah, they were talking online and sometimes it's- we got catfished! We got catfished! Bentley got catfished! The player got catfished! Completely caught off guard by by this lady on the internet, but you know, at least she's on our team. And I guess, to be fair, the Baron didn't really do anything that terrible. They just cheated during events and let people kill each other or seriously injure each other for the sake of amusement. Hmm. Oh, well. Bad guys can be good guys sometimes. And we're in the gray area. We'll just say that. After a careful analysis of Dr. M's fortress, Bentley came to the difficult conclusion that his demolition skills just weren't going to be enough. If we wanted to get inside the Cooper vault, we'd have to recruit a full-time demolition specialist. However, Bentley's proposed candidate was a shock. My old enemy, the Panda King. Seriously? Man, they're bringing so many people back. As a member of the original Fiendish Five, he had a part in taking out my dad and stealing pages from the Thievius Raccoonus. Eventually, I caught up with him, and I claimed back what he had stolen. There was no way I was gonna let that monster on my team, but Bentley was firm. He discovered the Panda King had left his life of crime, and was now a monk living the life of quiet meditation high up in the mountains. Well, that's a drastic change. Hmm. I wasn't at all convinced. But there was no denying that he had the skills we needed if we were to succeed. So the gang packed up, put on our disguises, and headed east. <laughs> that's a pretty rocky disguise. It's so bizarre that all this takes place on, like, a normal Earth. That's... Just a bit different. It's like, did it have to be China? Well, I guess. Yeah, sure, why not? Why do we keep converting people who are trying to go down peaceful paths to go do destructive things? What are you trying to say to us, <laughs> developers? Sometimes to get the job done, we gotta get our hands dirty. Stay sharp, team. For all we know, the Panda King's just as dangerous as ever. How can you say that? Just look at him! Have you ever seen someone more at peace with the world? I'll admit, he does look kinda zenned out. Ah, uh, Mr. King? Honorable Panda King? We humbly wish to speak with you! Guess he doesn't want to talk. Sorry, Bentley. Let's go. Be realistic, Sly. He's clearly in a deep meditative trance. Huh. It'll take some doing, but I think I see a way to get the team up to his shrine. Good. The walk up here tired me out. I don't want to turn around now. Man, I miss the van. We never had to walk anywhere back then. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's just get this over with. Murray, you're up first. If you could get to the top of that pillar, 
You should be able to use your ball move to bounce all the way up to the Panda King. Okay, bouncing is a lot easier than more walking. Seriously, you guys want to see my blisters? No way. Is he serious? Yeah, okay, Master. Bouncing, pillars, piece of cake. I hear that. Sometimes you've got to be firm. No, seriously, was he for real about the blisters? Because, uh, I don't know, it's... Yeesh. Was he... <laughs> I'm, I'm sure... I'm sure we were pretty serious about the blisters. Alright, so how are we... How are we doing this? Do I just... Bounce my way around? Oh, hey, look! These guys are kind of cool. Oh, that's not something to jump on. Yeah, that makes sense. We're just gonna have to be a little careful with my overall bounce methods. Because sometimes I might miss and I might have to end up going all the way backwards anyways. This guy has no idea. Ow! Oh! He does know how to handle the Murray! Well, we had to bring out the fist anyways. Anyways, what I was gonna say is, can we really not just steal another van? We're a band of thieves. Or at least a band of criminals. Except for the girl. He's probably not really a, a criminal. He's just kind of he's just kind of associating with criminals. But sometimes isn't that pretty much the same thing? But still, good as all in a van, even if it wouldn't technically be the same. I hope the Panda King is a little different from before. And isn't just gonna end up being like uh, secretly doing his spice trade operation stuff. Actually, I don't think he was doing spice. He just blew up villages. He was a jerk. Okay, I'm in position. Penelope, uh, you're up next. I'm not sure if you're aware, but Sly can jump onto small points. Those bamboo shoots would be an ideal means of ascent if they weren't spaced so far apart. Hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can figure it out for myself. It's, uh, got to do with the ice. Okay, so clearly we need more points in order for Sly to ascend. The problem? Where we're going to get them. The answer? Split each shoot down the middle, thereby doubling the points of ascension. However... The ice down there appears too thin to walk on, so there's no way to do it by hand. So, I'll need to use my lightweight remote control car to split the trees for us. Perfect! That's it, exactly! Great! Anything for Sly. I love to see him pull off those athletic moves. <laughs> Good thing I installed a turret on this little lady. Perfect for splitting logs. Alright, so we're just driving around and shooting all Do I have an overheat mechanic on this? I do. That is so disappointing. But at least for this, we can just go slow and steady. There you go, Sly. Hope it's everything you could have wished for. It looks great. My pleasure. Really? Anytime. Ah, uh, Sly, isn't it time you climbed up there and joined Murray? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't know if I'm... I don't know if I'm digging this. Okay, I never signed up for this awkward love triangle but not kind of thing, alright? I don't even know if Bentley cares. So we're just, we're just moving on. See, this, this is why you, you don't get with co-workers or members of the team. It causes drama. We're just... We're just gonna do our own thing. Oh, I almost failed that. Huh. I guess I can crawl around under trees. Whack the supports up on those pinwheels! Really? Pinwheel destabilization is the cornerstone of this plan! Jump into my hands and I'll throw you up there! Yeah, I was about to say, is Murray gonna throw me? And the answer is yeah, 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 he is. Oh, jeez. Finally, 
Press X to throw Sly. All right, so this is a multi-step plan. I got gotcha. you. He didn't just, he wasn't just gonna do it automatically. Here I come, Murray. I'm all done up here. Excellent. Now that the pinwheels are unstable, I just need to light them up with my darts. One shot per rocket should do the trick. Will the rockets wake up the guru? Or just give us ways to go on up? Shoot the fireworks, you got it. Oh wait. Oh no, I have to do it legitimately per rocket. I thought I would have to do it like per pillar, but no. Here we go. We gotta time things out. Yee. That's okay. I have training with shooting. Those pinwheels are about to go. Guru, feel up for a challenge? Well, that's right. You should be able to persuade the guards to help you get up to those rockets. Oh, hiya. And how am I gonna do that? Can he do like a super high jump? Or can I knock down the pillars or something? Whoops! Ah! I'm gonna hide! <laughs> do not hurt me! <laughs> no! They have hurt the guru! No! <laughs> Master! He's... he's dead. He's just outright gone. Oh my god. Okay, I didn't expect to like immediately ram my face into the side of the building as soon as I jumped on top of it. That's kind of a weird thing, but fine. Oh, I do have to go up there. What the heck? Do I... Do I jump off now? Oh! That's simple. Holy shit. That was intense. What about I do? What about this one? What is this gonna do? It's gonna knock the other pinwheel off. Okay. Oh, we made it one of those platforms! That solid pinwheel should serve as an excellent makeshift elevator. Alright. Well, at least now we don't have to do crazy things to get everybody up top. Although the question is then, is this the whole area? I doubt it. It's, we're probably just here for a little bit, talk to the Panda King, and then end up in a different place entirely. I agree. He's in a super meditative state. So let's just shout in his ear. Now, to break him out of this trance, we'll need to delve into his mind. A hacksaw, then? No! It'll require channeling. Hi, what the All right, well, we so got the guru. Sit beside the panda king. The guru will bridge your minds. I like how Sly just immediately accepted it with no questions. I feel like I'd be a little bit hesitant about connecting my mind with somebody who assisted in the death of a family member slash Sly's dad. Ah, uh, we're back here in the original fighting room in Sly 1. I see you carry the cane of the notorious Cooper Thief clan. Have you come here for revenge to steal back the Thievius Raccoonus? Whoa. This is just like the time I beat the stuffing out of you. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless villagers in the snow? You are a thief, just like me. Uh, yeah, are you even listening to what I'm saying? Insolent child, you shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still, to honor your Cooper ancestry, 
I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique. Flame Fool. I guess I have to fight um. him again. <laughs> yeah! Okay, I don't remember exactly what I... what I did for that fight, so... We're just gonna play it by ear. Do I... Do I just go up there and beat him up? Fiery wheel. Moving arms of thunder. Fiery wheel. Moving chop. Fiery wheel. Oh, we're just not getting too much in, like... <laughs> we're not really getting... Moving chop. What is the word I'm trying to use here? It starts with an eye. We're not really getting the impact. It doesn't feel like I'm damaging him, but I'm actually damaging him if I look up at the top right. Snap out of it. This is all in your head. My mind is clear. Focused on your destruction. That's not good. I've got to break him out of this memory loop. All right. What are the things I can say? Threaten him, play nice, make him sad. I'm going to make him sad. We both know why you're here. You're fixated on the moment of your greatest defeat. I beat you, and forever after you've wondered how it all fell apart. I hate you, Sly Cooper. You've ruined me. Ruined the Panda King. And I've hated you, but that doesn't make any of this real. Years have passed, and, and we've both changed. Come out of this trance. Let's meet each other as we are today, and, and let go of who we were when this fight occurred. You are correct. <laughs> Forgive me. My mind is not always my own. Wow, that was easy. I did the right conversation option instantly. The Panda King wasn't any more excited about the notion of him joining the gang than I was. If it weren't for the guru, who for some reason really hit it off with the old guy, the whole deal would have been a bust. We could see the anger in the Panda King's eyes as he recounted how he lost a member of his own family. A daughter who was abducted by a powerful general from the Northern Mountains. She was to be the bride in a forced marriage to this unscrupulous ruler, and Panda King was exiled. We agreed to help him recover his lost daughter in exchange for his skills in the Cooper Vault job. I still wasn't convinced this was a good idea, but a deal's a deal. <laughs> wow, he changed his outfit and got rid of all of his hair. A cold alliance. Oh, oh, now I understand it. Because we're all the way in the cold area and we're in an alliance now with the Panda King. I get you. We all know that our objective here is to retrieve the Panda King's daughter, Jane King. She's being kept against her will by this man, General Sal. A real key to this guy. During surveillance, I actually witnessed him kick a puppy. Twice. What? He plans on forcing Jing King to marry him next Saturday. Clearly, time is of the essence. Here's the plan. First, I'll approach Sao in disguise and attempt to get hired as his wedding planner. Hopefully, with a man on the inside, we'll get some news on Jing King. Still, we need more information. Two of us will need to work together to steal a pair of twin keys and break into Sao's house of business. Once inside, I'll need to utilize some new technology to circumvent their ultra-tight security. Finally, thanks to Penelope's air sweeps, we've picked up an unusual radio signature out in the water. Someone will need to go eyeball the anomaly and figure out what it is. We can't leave anything out the chance here, or Jing King lives unhappily ever after. <laughs> well... You know, at least the Panda King has a daughter. Good for him, right? Yeah, she's about to be forced to get married, but you know, well, at least... At least he was able to get over himself in order for us to help him out. 
All right. I want other things. Freeze time around the guards temporarily at least. What else? Uh, I'm not sure, but I want shadow power. I want to sneak. Really hardcore. 